Oh, there's nothing worse than getting the flu. Oh, you poor dear. I'll get you some hot soup and fix you right up. Here's a hanky for your runny nose. Mum, I'm not actually sick. I'm just pretending for work. Oh, oh I didn't see the film crew. Hello, boys. Hi, Mrs E. Does anyone want a cup of tea? Yeah, we've got a soy latte. Mum! Right, um, where was I? Uh, there's nothing worse than getting the flu. <gasps> The flu, or influenza, is a virus. You can catch it through the spit or mucus of someone infected. Gross. In most cases, flu symptoms are pretty similar to a common cold. Runny nose, sore throat, headaches. But while colds usually fizzle out, the flu can be serious, especially if you're very young, very old, or have a medical problem. And there have been some deadly outbreaks of influenza in the past. The biggest one was in 1918. It's known as the Spanish flu, and it killed more than 50 million people, which was about a fifth of the world's population at the time. Yikes. But don't worry too much, because that was a long time ago, and that particular type of flu is really rare. You see, there isn't just one type of influenza virus. They come in a bunch of different strains that change and adapt all the time. And it's the job of these scientists to find out which strains are around, so they can create vaccines to help prevent them. You might have had a flu vaccination before. It contains a little bit of the virus. It's not active, so it can't make you sick. Instead, it sort of teaches your body to recognise the strain of influenza that might be around, so our bodies are prepared to fight it off. It isn't always a guarantee that you won't get the flu, especially if it's a strain that isn't in the vaccine. But experts say vaccinations are still the best way to beat the flu. It also helps to protect people who can't get vaccinated. And this year they say it's particularly important because it could be a really bad flu season. There have already been 40,000 cases and people have died. But we haven't seen this before. Um, and I would say the fact that it's unusual makes us concerned. It doesn't guarantee you we're going to have a heavy flu season, but the fact that it is different than the past makes us think we need to be prepared. There are some other things you can do to protect yourself from the flu, like washing your hands regularly with soap and keeping away from people who are sick. If you are sick, make sure you cover that cough and keep away from people as much as possible to stop it from spreading. And don't forget to clean your room, wash behind your ears and be nice to your mother. Mum! 